Sonia Hinojosa is an anchor over at NPR, state radio, publicly funded radio, but she's also apparently a credentialed expert on immigration. She must be because she recently lectured the rest of the country. They're not allowed to use the term illegal immigrant. For that, she said it was immoral to detain migrant children crossing the border because pedophiles would get jobs taking care of those children. We're not kidding. Actually, you can look that up. Now, Maria Hinojosa has a new nugget of wisdom. Border security is entirely irrelevant. How does she know? 9-11 proves it. You sound like you don't think the Democratic response was as robust as it could have been. Because the problem with the Democratic response is they are continuing to play into this narrative of, oh my God, border security, border security. Guys, I've been talking about this story for 30 years. For 30 years, there's been the neurosis about border security. The greatest terrorist attack in our country did not happen because someone crossed that border. It happened in our city because they got off of planes. So there, it begins to feel like the wheels are just spinning, 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 talking about border security. Okay, she's been talking for 30 years. It may be the first time you've heard her, but there we go. Back in reality, meanwhile, there are some lessons we learned from 9-11, in case you don't recall. And the main one was, we ought to know who's actually in our country and what they're doing here, particularly if they're from somewhere else. The 9-11 hijackers boarded their planes using their real names, but they routinely used fraudulent identities and fake documents in the lead-up to the attack. And that's why Congress, on a bipartisan basis, passed something called the Real ID Act. That was a decade ago, and it was still possible then to say that dangerous people ought to be kept out of America, and those with no legal right to be here ought to be made to leave. Now that former consensus is hate speech, and instead it's our country's obligation, they're telling us to let tens of millions of people we know nothing about settle here, and if they use fake documents to get here or work here, that's not a big deal, and if it bothers you, it's your problem, shut up. Meanwhile, in 2016, an IRS report found that more than a million Americans had their social securities numbers stolen by illegal aliens and were never even informed of that fact by their government. But that's not a threat. Keep in mind, we've only been hearing for two years about the real threat. The real threat is Russians with laptops and internet access. That's the threat. The Russians exploited a massive backdoor into the foundation of our democracy. Moscow's attack on American democracy. The work by Russian agents to try to destabilize American democracy. It's everything you need to know about the threat to our democracy. You have Republicans who are silent and seemingly okay with this kind of attack on our democracy. There is no question that Russia attacked us. We're attacks, ladies and gentlemen, on our Constitution. Attack on the integrity of our elections. An attack on our democracy. The first time we've had an adversary attack us that we have not responded. God, all, all reading from the same script. Let's be, I mean, our leadership class in this country is really sick. And that's obvious now. The crisis is not only at our border. It's here in Washington where the people in charge have decided that the very question of border security is not worthy of conversation. And if you push it, you're immoral. And it's just the whole thing's irrelevant. So irrelevant, they're not even paying attention, including one of the commentators over on CNN yesterday who found her nails more interesting than anything having to do with criminals crossing the border. Watch this. John yes. Lott did an extensive study of Arizona. There are there are conflicting Please. studies, but listen, no even if I were to grant you that point, even, yes, there are. No but even if I, that's fake not news to say there are not. It's fake no, news. It's but, fake news but for you to inject to, if, BS okay, and say that it's look, equal to the real data. It's, it's not continue. BS. But even if I were to, even if I were to grant you that, okay, the point is the illegal alien crime rate. Go should ahead. be zero. It should be, you can do your nails. You know who can't do their nails? Are people who've been killed, Anna, by dangerous known illegal aliens who've been allowed to stay in this country because of the leftist policies that people like you promote. Wow, that's as much CNN as I've had this year, and it's enough. Molly Hemingway is the senior editor at The Federalist, and she joins us tonight. So Molly, in a functional city, functional capital city, the debate would not be about whether or not there was a problem or whether or not borders were appropriate, it would be about the details of how to fix what is manifestly and obviously a problem. But is it, is it your conclusion that like at least half the city doesn't believe there is a problem? It is very bizarre to watch people talk about this. I mean, obviously, we have hit a government shutdown. We have, we have had story after story of problems at our southern border, and we do have other border problems. We have, uh, we have other issues that are in play. 
the, 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 the leaders here should be sitting down and working out a solution. And they're not taking it seriously. And also, the media don't seem to be taking it very seriously. They hit this issue about an inch deep. And I think the average American might have a better understanding of the complexity of the, of the situation than the average reporter at times. So if you're a Republican senator and your solution, and I think this is actually what's happening, your solution to this problem is to give citizenship, reward people who came here illegally, not just people taken here by their parents as small children, but people who came here volitionally knowing it was illegal, giving them citizenship. Are you kind of missing the point, maybe, of this well, conversation? And it's a threat to the rule of law. I mean, the first, the first thing you have is an agreement as a people to abide by certain laws. When people do come here illegally, that undermines that rule of law. That undermines the fabric of the country. It is important that people have a shared agreement to hand out citizenship to people without thinking about that and thinking about what harm is done when people break break laws, including our border laws, is really to not understand because, so, so what a why country am I is following the, Why am I living in fear that I'll some accidentally violate a law and be humiliated and punished when our leaders are telling us it's totally cool when people break the law? Right. If we don't use, an, if we use a fake ID, we are punished for it, yes. and we should be. And if other people do it, sometimes there's just either a slap on the hand or nothing, nothing major done about that. And that does, that does create, uh, it loosens the, the binds. Are you going to keep following the law? Yes. I am. But. I'm kind of an idiot. I mean, everyone else, you know what I mean? Everyone's getting rewarded for ignoring it. So, like, why am I the last dumb person in America who's, like, worried about paying all my taxes? But it really does have an effect on the, yes, larger, it does. On the larger people. When you see people getting away with things, you wonder why, if you're just the dummy who's, who's following the law while nobody else so is. That is corrosive. I agree 100%. Molly Hemingway, with everything you said.